What's up, y'all? I got a family to feed, so let's get into this tea. We about to get into Corey won't smoke with Prime and Michi after claiming they cranked his wife. Lena exposed Neek for. Let's get it. So now, in a previous video, I spoke on this whole situation with Carmen and Corey. Now, Corey is allegedly being exposed by Timu Carmen. Now, she was responding to some fans that kept stating that she was trying to be like Carmen and that she was messing with Corey while he was married. So she responded on her Instagram story with when he was with his wife, he stayed trying to F with me and I kept turning him down. Maybe I need to post the receipts. He been wanting to F with me. Why y'all so mad at me? Go be mad at her. She the one who portrayed standing on business and had all her fans supporting her, thinking she was done with him. Nah, that's true. Now y'all looking dumb because she's back with him. So Corey responded on Twitter with, and relax, shorty. Don't let these fans make an ass out of you. Hashtag SSG. Now he also responded back to Prime. Now in my video yesterday, I spoke about Prime reacting to Zoe's video. Prime stated, Corey didn't want any problems with him or Michi. In real life though, like, bro, Corey does not want to beef. Like this is all like entertainment for him. Like I'm gonna just call it, I'm gonna just speak on it real. Like this ain't nothing like, if we see each other, gun plays, gun in the sky. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like, gun oh, plays, gun in the sky. No, like, this, like, he he not trying to be for real. Like, no one's, no one is beefing. It's not real. This shit is, this shit ain't, ain't that. Like, it's not real. It's internet, like. So, Corey left a comment that stated, what if beef? Then he also goes on to Twitter and state, don't let I YouTube guess what if it's beef for you. I'll get out of my mind for real, but it ain't worth it. Ha ha boys. B words in my eyes. A hundred hashtag SSG. So now Lena did post a YouTube video on I this. I just feel like Corey needs to let it go. Whole situation between her, Neek, and King. Now I will say a lot of what she stated in that video was what she already stated on Instagram Live. Now she did mention that Neek was kind of calling her names in a phone conversation that they had prior to her going live on Instagram. Here's a few things what Lena had to add to that story that she already put out. Back and, you know, things were said. She like body shamed me. And, you know, I'm, I was being very respectful. I was being very mature about the situation. Like, everybody has a right to feel how they feel. And I just feel like her- I can't believe we still talking about it. Expressing how she felt on camera. Was, that's where it all transpired. And that's why people felt so comfortable to come and like, you know, start bashing us and start speaking about a situation they didn't know the full details to. They didn't know the back end conversations to. They didn't know the text messages that were exchanged. Like they just didn't know the full story. And that's where I feel Feel like if you don't speak about us and if we don't speak about you situations like this just won't happen you know what i mean like it could have been an easy conversation that you had between you and king where it was just like uh hey like i felt like you could have did this for kaiser instead of me having to go out my way and you're completely right like that's valid like that's how well, they did have a conversation outside alone. That's what King said. How you feel, can't nobody stop how you feel. And then it could have went from there. Things could have got clarified or whatever the case could be. So now someone in her comment section stated, I get it, but she did not bash y'all or say anything disrespectful about y'all in her video. It didn't go sideways until y'all went live. Then Lena responds with, I had a convo with her before I went live where the disrespect started. Now, I've seen a lot of comments in I her- I just feel like that should have been handled on the phone. We wouldn't even know none of this. Comment section still stating that she needed to stay out of this, that she had no right speaking on live or even making a video on this whole situation. But let's briefly discuss oh, DDG yeah, announcing baby. that he will no longer be posting family content on social media. Now I get that he hasn't been showing his son's face, but he's sick and tired of all of the comments that he's getting about not showing his son and even getting matching tattoos with Hallie, but not giving her a ring. If y'all know how, if y'all watching. Yo, what? Now they pressuring him too? 
Man, get out of here. Me. For a long time, you know, I always wanted to be a dad. Like, this is like, I feel like it's one of my life callings. I, I have a lot of fun with my son. I, I have separation anxiety from my son. I, I love being around my family and everything. Um, But I feel like the more I show, the more weird it gets. Um, like recently the vlog, what really made me feel like this is the vlog that I just posted when I got this tattoo of my son's name, what me and Hallie did. And it seems like everything that I do and when I display family content, it gets looked at in a negative way no matter what. And um, I'm just over it. I'm tired of it. I'm tired of people always having two cents, people that has nothing going on in their own life, putting in two cents on my life. I feel him 100%. I don't think he's serious, though. Because, you know, he, he said he quit YouTube 100 times. But I'm going to take DDG to be the one to quit some shit because of what people saying. But it hit different when you're talking about your baby and your wife. Um, your girl. And it just gets annoying. You know, it's like I can save the world and then somebody can say, hey, why you ain't save Mars? You know what I mean? Or I can I can buy my mom a house and then somebody to say, why you ain't get your cousin something? You know, it's just like every time that I do something positive or I do something that that should be looked at in nothing but a positive light. People make negativity out of it. And um, it just made me think like, maybe I shouldn't be showing my personal life too much on here or like Snapchat or Instagram. And maybe I should like not display what I got going on in my family and what's going on with my son and all of that stuff. I feel like at this point it's becoming weird. Like, you know, people get mad that they can't see my son face. Like, people get frustrated with anything. Like, we got a matching tattoos of our son's name and people somehow put marriage into that conversation. It has nothing to do with getting married. We have a tattoo of our son's name. Like, he's doing everything but putting a ring on it. Like, no one wants to hear that, you know? So, I'm at a point now where I kind of just don't want to do the family content no more. I don't want to really show my son and they gonna say something regardless. show what me and Hallie got going on. I'd rather just keep that separate and keep that to myself in private. And um, I kind of just wanted to hear y'all thoughts about it. So you guys mm. leave your opinions on that down no, in the comment <laughs> section below. What do you guys think about DDG no longer posting family content? I know that's going to be kind of hard for him because his whole thing is surrounded by recording what he does on a daily. And of course, he's going to be around Hallie and his son. But I get wanting to keep things separate and protecting the peace in your household. But again, you guys leave your opinions on this and everything else in this video down in the comment section below. <clears throat> um. I think that he was absolutely expressing himself. I do think he wanted to see the comments because the people in the comments going to say, no, DDG, please don't do that. Da, da, da. Um, but ultimately, you know, DDG was meant for this. People going to talk all, all the time. So it is what it is. But that marriage thing, that's a projection because I feel like people want to get married or I feel like people want to – have a certain type of dynamic and they project it on you because they feel as though you got that. Not that you don't have that though. Just you ain't, ain't nobody thinking about that shit. Do not. Why well, I got to put the government on my, that's all I can think about. That's all I've ever thought about. Why do I have to involve them? Got to put the ops in my business. I don't like that. Let me know what y'all think though down in the comment section below. Love y'all. Appreciate y'all. Hell yeah.